I am Casey, a 25 year old office worker. I met with my husband Sid, who is two years older than me, when I was in university. He fell for me first after we met at a university event and eventually started going out. We got married after five years of dating. I never imagined that I would separate from him. In just three months after exchanging our vows, this was because of my mother in law. She was bullying me shortly after we got together. She lived on her own 30 minutes away from our apartment. Due to her being only 50 years old, I assume she had so much energy left that she would drive all the way to ours without any advance notice on the weekends. Every single time she had something to say about how I was taking care of the house. You think that's what people call cleaning? I told you it won't work with the two of you working. When are you going to quit your job to become a housewife? I cannot wait to have a grandchild. If you can't offer me that, hurry up and get a divorce. I can get someone for my son. This is how she talked to me. My husband doesn't intervene, but rather laughs along. He even joins her sometimes. I didn't know he was such a mommy's boy until we got married. Last time, my mother in law visited. She just told me to cook her something since she was hungry. I made pasta with the leftover ingredients I had in the fridge. But of course, she always has something to say. Is this all you can cook? When I was young, I always made sure that I had enough ingredients from home. In case my husband comes home with one of his friends, I was screaming inside that she doesn't have to eat my food and that she shouldn't be here in the first place. But I just apologized and let her continue talking. Somehow, my husband started joining her and said, That's true. Let's make sure we stock more ingredients. Huh? We just talked about preventing from our groceries going bad and only buying the minimum amount. My husband was completely swayed by her. So he came home the next day with a bunch of groceries. I asked him what he was going to do with all these. And all he said was that he believes that his mom is right. Can you not make your own decisions? Since we could not return all that he bought, I woke up early in the morning from then on to make lunch boxes using all the stuff he bought. I made two lunch boxes for my husband and I since I felt bad only making it for myself. He would say, I'm so blessed having your lunch every day. But Does he really understand why I'm doing this? I don't think so. I mean, I work too, so why can't you do the same thing? Ugh, did I rush the marriage? I was regretting my decision a little. When this happened, I received a text from my mother in law. Hey Casey, you have some explaining to do? What are you talking about? Oh, you can't fool me. I saw you walking with the man. What do you mean? 
right back at you. You are cheating on my son. No, I'm not. Was that really me? Of course, I took a photo too. Oh, I see. Ha ha. So you're admitting it. How can you do this to my beautiful son? This is a misunderstanding. That's my brother. Whatever I said, she didn't believe me. That is such a bad excuse. It's not an excuse. You also met him before Sid and I got married. I knew she wasn't going to believe me no matter how hard I tried. So, how can you believe me? I guess I need to keep an eye on you. What do you mean? I'm moving into your apartment. What? I can't bear that. I told not to decide on her own. She then followed, saying that she would make us get a divorce if she can't move in, and that she'll let Sid know about this. I believed that Sid would recognize my brother in a second, and that's why I continued to ignore my in law. The same day when I got home, Sid was already there too. You're early today. Cut it. Just sit down. Oh, wow. So she told him about it already. Oh, whatever you heard from your mom, it's a misunderstanding. Before I finish my sentence, He showed me the filed divorce papers. Wait, what? What is this? You thought I wasn't going to do this? That's how much you hurt me. I'm going to go back to my mom's, so reflect on yourself and decide what you want to do with it. I'm open to working on this if you're sorry and admit your faults completely. But if you're falling for the dude, just sign the papers already. In that case, I will be filing the lawsuit against you. I didn't know my husband was this stupid. He didn't even look at the photo properly and believed his mother's word instead. Even came home with the divorce papers. I knew I was going to divorce him at this time, but I just pretended to look sorry. When he noticed me looking like that, he said so proudly, I'm not that mean, so I'll give two to three days to think about this. I could tell he wasn't so happy when I told him that I was promoted recently. It seems like not being able to get promoted and learning that his wife earns more than him now had been affected his self esteem pretty badly. He was so proud to finally have the upper hand. I called up my brother the moment Sid left. He was right in his summer break from university and The moment I texted him saying, I need you and your friend's help, food is on me. He replied that he was happy to help. I took a day off from work and, with the help of my brother and his friends, I was able to pack and send all my husband's belongings to his mom's. I then submitted the divorce papers. And went out to celebrate with everyone. Since the next day was Saturday, I went to the real estate agency to look for my new apartment. I found a good one, so I decided on that spot. 
My belongings were also packed when my brother and his friends came over, so I sent out my belongings. So that I could start living there as soon as possible. The next day, I got a call from my ex husband. Have you been? Got a chance to reflect on yourself? Yes, I gave it a thought and submitted the papers. I sent all your stuff to your mom's. Huh? What are you doing? It's our house. You may have forgotten, but you were the one who started squatting in my apartment. Well, that's right, but I could tell that he didn't expect me to submit the papers. He was surprised at first, but tried fighting back. I'll never going to forgive you. You know, I'm going to file a lawsuit against you. You will regret this. He was losing it, so I told him this. So, you believe everything that your mom says, huh? Do you even see the photo properly? Photo? I forwarded the photo my mother in law sent me the other day. What the? Yeah, that's my brother. I told your mom so many times, but of course she never believed me. What? What? So, I never cheated and I don't owe you a lawsuit. Wait, wait, I didn't know. We don't have to get divorced if you never cheated in the first place. Huh? You think that we can just go on with our life after all that you've done? You only believed your mom and never bothered listening to me. You went so far as signing the papers. Well, I can't spend the rest of my life with someone like that. Go ahead and continue living with your mom. You're mama's boy. I hung up right after I said that. I ignored the calls I got from him for the rest of the time. So, as all his texts. Seems like he rang the doorbell so many times after that, but I'm not there since I moved out already. This is what my landlord told me afterwards, but he would roam around my old house or yell at the door after ringing the doorbell until people called the cops on him and he was taken away. When he was being taken, my landlord told him that the homeowner has moved and that's when his face went blue. He deserves it though. I got back to being single so fast, but I do not regret my decision of separating with a mama's boy and a sick mother in law.